historically on split. Not yeah. just in Korea, but uh, internationally, they've had a lot of success on this side of the map. So not too surprising to see them go for this. And I think this, I thought maybe they floated split because they were just going to pick defenders first and be like, yeah, we got you. This is, this is our map. We're just going to mentally break you to kick it off. But trademark right around the corner uh, on to B. Stax is looking to flash uh, inside of the garage there. There was somebody hiding behind the box just in case there was a push out. And now Jung Hai is on the site. He yeah, moves up in B heaven, but he's pretty far back. All right, smoke into heaven. Paranoia across the back. That's into alley. They get the site for free. Now it's going to have to be a five-man retake as the rotation starts coming through. Are going to be slowed up a bit as they wait for Nakji to arrive. They can just wait through the spawn now. You can see a double check into mid, making sure that no one's wrapping around trying to backstab through mail. DRX just have two tucked away in back sight, two over at garage. Chibop going to be stunned up as he drops down. The flashes start flying. Shock is ready here for Stacks and RP. He's got him covered. Off the shot goes through. Buzz doming two. Great shot. Tries to find Nakji. Can't make it happen. Zest. I mean, the funny thing is, is yeah, A is open. There's a trademark right outside of rope, so he can rotate over here. Maybe get the plant at least. Uh, but nope, he's going to opt to try to see if he had baited them to pulling off site. Kind of surprising that nobody has rotated over towards A. But just wanting to operate as a unit rather than split off and get picked off like you're in a horror movie. Says, we'll find moves out. It's the opener. There's the haunt. And the swing should be coming through now. It does. He doesn't get the elimination. He's going to try to push this. He gets the headshot of the Jonghai. That's going to be a weapon upgrade. And now he's going to sprint over to A. And suddenly Zest has brought this into a clutchable scenario if he can get there in time and get the plant down. Just will have enough. It's going to have to be right around the corner. Narrowly makes it with a second to spare. Plant through. Now we'll see if they can retake this. Uh, Jung Hai, I'm not sure if there was nerves there or what. He was a little bit late on that swing. And then whiffed on the shot. He had a great opportunity. They had the right setup. They had the right idea. Uh, just not able to execute. And now uh, another haunt comes right back up. You still got one more prowler in the bag. Zest, 82 health. Behind the map, see if he can get this done. Even if they close this, which they should, it's already been fairly catastrophic. They lose these weapons, and Zest almost makes it happen. Gets cheap up. But if you're DRX, you're not going to be feeling bad about that whatsoever. A massive little micro. Have as a chamber player to have so many different options available to you in terms of weapons. Jung Hai creating some one ways uh, to wait to see if anybody from DRX uh, does end up pushing through. The paranoia is going to lead the way. Does. Check the close corner. Getting quite a bit of damage down on the cheap up now. Well, that's going to be the night ball flying through. TP going to be used. Move. Finds a headshot on the RP. Takes him down to the entry. Swing on the corner. Here's the judge. But coming up with two. Jung Hai just around the corner, but seemingly unaware. The nightfall taking away his audio, I suppose, means that he doesn't realize that there's someone right behind him. Plant coming in from Stacks. Mako's got the covering fire, and DRX will go ahead and win the fourth round. Yeah, I mean, that that's a little worrying that the comms weren't quite there. Uh, I mean, I know he, because of the deafening uh, from the nightfall that he probably couldn't hear. Uh, as he had TP'd back there after the Nightfall landed. Uh, moves with a great job here with a great follow-up right off the TP, but then, you know, Buzz putting this Judge to great work, and I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if he got flashed or what. There might have been something else that happened in the meantime, but uh, Jung Hai, all kinds of out of, out of sorts. And then Mako there, good as gold to get the two. At the end, I, that's a toughie. I mean, that leads me to believe that maybe the comms got a little messy there for Maru. Yeah, he still had the, the trail left on him from the Nightfall, so I think he might have just been getting ready to have his audio come back. And, uh, you know, Mako not able to get through that lurk in time uh, to be effective, so really nice job here. Uh, I assume that they must have been watching Mako at least to some degree uh, in the back there. I didn't quite catch it, but we never saw it on screen. But the fact that Mako's lurk didn't provide any value leads me to believe that there had to be some recognition of that. Really both kind of bouncing back into Arby's face. Pulls away for just a moment, but now they've got the wall broken down, so eyes need to be on it. Swing out. Move's going to be dropping down off the vent. The rafter, rather. Wicks already in sewers. I was going to say, this is something Maru loves to do, is these early aggressive rotations. Against Dax here. Oh, sees the shoulder. Have they seen each other? I think so. I think Wicks showed just enough. And the creep forward continues. <laughs> Swings around the back, and this is a decent angle for him to play here. Ah, uh, does he know? Oh, no. He's around the corner, so Stack's not going to see him. He might have thought that he regressed back into the site. Or being 
Bolt at the ready. Spot Sheep off, drops down, trying to zap, takes him low, finally gets the elimination. A little bit of extra charge coming through as Bolt Wick starts making his way over, but is it too late? Snacks does fall though. Buzz continuing to try to hold from ramp. The flash at the ready. Throws it. He's just going to take the TP out. Wix is ready. Catches him. A fantastic little lurk. And now we have ourselves a 3v3 as they look to retake the site. That was just great patience by Wix there. Ready uh, for that TP. See if he can get some more work done. Oh, Mako taking Wix's head off. Moves falling as well. Junghai only going to be able to get one. RP. Prod. Uh, at the at the long angles of the map. Wix is looking for a little bit of a wider peak. RB up close, the flash comes in, runs back around the corner, but has the TP out immediately. So once more, it's going to be the Nightfall leading them into the site. The TP there from Mako gets himself situated up onto the high ground. He manages to find two kills quickly. Swinging around. Chibop having dropped down into hell does end up getting it taken out by RB. Just like that, two members left standing. And Jong Hai, let's see if they can do anything. Because right now, it's on pace for a flawless here for DRX. Looking for the drop down. The catch. Moves just didn't have a chance. That's everything in the kitchen sink. I mean, they're just, they're so well coordinated. Uh, they know where you're going to be. They know where you're hiding. They know once certain amounts of space have been given up where you're likely to be. And they capitalize on it. And now Zest is going to grab the opposite. The rare Zest operator. Yeah, why not? Uh, well, you know, you remember on Breeze for a while, they would drop it for him. Like Art went back before. Uh, this patch, you know, RB would yeah. grab the operator and then drop it for Zest, so he's not too shabby with it at all. Oh, I mean, I'm not doubting his abilities. Just happens few and far in between. It, it is very rare, though. You're absolutely right. Mako on the hunt. We know that they are bankrupt if they can get a couple more guns out. Let's see how aggro he wants to go. Buzz nearly finding Cheap up there in that moment. Stacks making his way into the site. The paranoia does go flying, and Chibok the screens will be able to get the elimination on the stacks at the very end, but he's not going to be too perturbed at all. Last round of the half. Utterly incredible run on the attacker's side here from DRX. Not much ground to stand on for Maru. Yeah, I mean, Maru, anytime they try to combo their utility, anytime they try to catch DRX off guard, for the most part, DRX isn't fooled, or they're just patient enough. Uh, to kind of push past it or wait it out. And everything is, you know, so, so good here from DRX. All the homework that they have been able to do because Mario has had to play a lot of games in the last couple of weeks. Uh, they're able to get a ton of info on these movements, on these rotations. And, you know, they're giving up a lot of space. And even still, DRX has no problem uh, capitalizing it. And, RB does have the overdrive again. Uh, rolling Thunder from moves. You, you do have the from the shadows for Junghai, but that's not as impactful sometimes on the defender's side. If you even get to use it, it feels like. And now DRX taking it slow, you know, cutting down the speed a bit. They've been pretty fast paced a lot of times with these hits. You know, let RB uh, just create all that territory for you. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna use it. And he just goes right to the same spot. Quick just little, checking for something. Quick check. Overdrive now going to be used. And RB dies instantly. As that oh, so often happens <laughs> for Neons. We'll get the slow out. Wick swing in the corner. Buzz, Buzz has the covering fire. Making sure he cannot get that kill on the Zest. Only takes him down to 70 HP. Three members left alive for Maru. Having to cut down four and get this defuse if they want to make it nine and three. I look at the way Mako backs up off of this. Oh. Still, though, Nachi got him. Pivot, Nachi, not even taking too much damage either. Does manage to survive. The Prowler going through. Not going to be able to get the blind. Buzz trying to push forward. Nachi swings once more. Gets that elimination. Does he know there's another one? He certainly does now. Has to check back over towards main, however. They start in onto the spike. Should at least be able to hold this to half. Nachi coming up with a kill. Now it's all on stacks. He's trying to spray. He's trying to stop it, but he cannot. Duel. Like, uh, the yeah. is good at pistols, but they've gotten a lot better. But, you know, Maru's pretty solid as well. No slouches. And, you know, Spectre's a, another bulldog for Zest. As Maru trying to figure out how exactly they want to go about this. Nakchi looking maybe for somebody to push out of uh, B main there. Or into B main, I should say, as the rest of the team uh, smokes and makes their way up. Trademark around the corner up in B heaven. So that's going to alert to this presence here shortly. Yep, they rush through. 
Mako gonna be dazed, throws the paranoia. Over towards the garage, Wicks taking quite a bit of damage. Mako locks onto his head, finds that first elimination, turns away from the flash, and it's into the meat grinder for Maru Gaming. As they've just got Spectres on either side, Zest finishing it up is DRX. Just need two more rounds to take split. I mean, DRX, you know, has clearly been focusing on this map in their time off. And just all the right pieces in the right places, they just bait you into a false sense of security. Uh, kind of giving up space like we saw with Maru, but like you said, they've got a meat grinder set up and Maru just doesn't have the utility uh, coordination to displace the members of DRX like you see what DRX do tomorrow. So, you yeah, know, it's tough, man. DRX is... Unbelievable, and now onto the uh, DRX has been really good on bonuses this year too. Shouldn't surprise you too much. RV off the rip, just Ooh. trying to dive in, but the counter utility is there. Slows, stunned. Oh, he makes it just back around the corner before Cheapop swings, so he's not going to be able to get that punish instantly. I like the attempt, but also the self-control to go ahead and back away when you're that far forward. Well, and you just got a lot of utility out of the hands of. Maru for yeah. that push. I mean, yeah, you threw a relay bolt. You got a relay bolt, a slow at the very least, probably a flash. Oh, yeah, My God, was watching <laughs> close with a marshal takes the teleport away in case there's any follow-up swing. There isn't. No one was in position there. <laughs> he's insane today. I, I mean, he's just absolutely hitting everything he yeah. looks at these early in these early parts of the rounds. And this is a, that's a marshal versus an, a rifles, and, and it's an instant headshot. It's just perfectly poised. He's got the crosshair lined up perfectly. The reaction time it's very much on point for him. There's a clear out on the trademark, though, as they make their way over to A. Buzz and Zest going to hold them off. All goes up in the back. Cutting off the rotation through spawn. It has to be broken down. Stack's going to be doing that. Zest, first contact, ends up falling. Junghai finding the elimination, and he gets the second. Because that's on one angle. RB has rotated out, so they don't have a crossfire set up here. This is the one to hold the line. A site is the one that is the least defended at the moment. Prowler to check ropes. Not going to find anything, so they know that there won't be any re-aggression through there just yet. Wix is still lurking. On the outside of ropes. His three-man stack coming uh, towards Mako, Mako stacks. RB. Mako has the sense. Yep. Got the paranoia at the ready. Now he knows. One goes across. He'll send his. Jung Hai just managed to cut away from it. Sun coming down. Mako looking at the TP out of his position. Still coming to the tags. Just a bit. He tried the TP back across to the opposite side. Ends up falling down. Stack will find Wicks. Ooh. Now it's just going to be 3v3. The spike will get planted. I like that Stax doesn't use the aftershock there. I don't think he'd get much value out of it other than delaying the spike for a few extra seconds. So. Save it for the retake, see if you can clear an angle on this. I was checking down to the hell, doesn't see anything. I suspect that the Omen is gonna be lurking within the smoke. Rolling Thunder goes across, that's going to hit Stax. Doesn't have one to reply with, the Haunt finding one. Zest swings the corner, gets the second kill, he's got the Nightfall, he's gonna send it, swings out, moves. Finding the elimination, but he is decayed, and Stax will be good for the kill.